Hi, I'm Matt McCollum, and this is my presentation, the Undergrad Podcast, podcast Lab and Me, where I'll be talking about my experiences in the in BYU's Undergrad Podcast Lab, what I learned from it, and what I hope to carry with me moving forward. And so my story with podcasting is an interesting one. I started out with an interest in computers and actually got accepted to BYU uh, studying computer science. And But what I really enjoyed was more the hands-on working with the technology of it and not so much computer programming, which is what computer science turned out to be. And so before I even started classes, I changed my major to information technology with the hope that I might be able to um, go that path instead. But I found that I really wasn't enjoying that either. And so I had time to think about it as I went on my mission to Argentina. Now in Argentina, I had a really cool opportunity. Towards the end of my mission, I was thinking about changing into uh, an English major once I got back. And at the end of my mission, we also had somebody approach me and my companion and offer us the opportunity to produce and air a radio program three times a week um, for one hour long episodes each. And it was a really cool experience to be able to um, have, kind of get my feet wet, if you will, in the recording and producing industry. Now my companion and I, as missionaries, didn't have much technology, so we had to produce this program using a typewriter, handwritten notes, and a, a phone, that not even a flip phone, to uh, prepare the media that we were going to use. but. It was a really cool experience and I really enjoyed it and hope to do something with it moving forward. And so, as I said, we produced these episodes and aired them three times a week for one hour each. And it was a lot to do that. Um, it required a lot of effort, but I think I learned a lot from the process. Now, coming back to BYU, I was really excited for my third semester when I realized that I'd be able to take the Applied Digital Communications class to fulfill the requirement, which was the undergrad podcast lab, and I'd be able to continue learning even more with that program. Now, the team that I joined was the Journeys podcast, where, as the title says, we deal with stories from world travelers. We would uh, receive essays from people, read their stories, and then interview them afterwards to see their experiences. And I wasn't quite sure where I would fit on this team initially, but I was really excited because I felt like I'd have a lot to offer because I was a person that personally enjoyed traveling and what I called adventuring quite a bit. And so as an adventurous person, I was really excited to uh, maybe share my experiences with the podcast or perhaps help other people know what they could share or maybe just uh, give some ideas on what we could do to help the podcast move forward. And so with that, it was interesting because the first episode we actually recorded a story of me and my friend going on a road trip to Mexico on two days notice. And I had quite a bit of fun with that, um, remembering that and uh, recording it. But I ended up being the one to offer to edit the episode afterwards also. And I found that I enjoyed that almost as much. And so within the podcast team, I became kind of the member that dedicated themselves to the editing of the episode, the producing, whereas uh, the other two members were kind of the social media managers and the uh, producers, if you will. And so it was a steep learning curve for me to learn how to use audio recording software. I used Audacity, particularly. And um, as you can see, here's an episode where we had multiple tracks and multiple audio levels to get it to work together. And I got so excited about it that I actually invested in my own microphone to perhaps do some recordings on my own. And I was quite excited to get that. And it turns out that I haven't done anything particularly on my own yet, but I was able to use it to help produce the podcast where I was able to record some of the intros that we needed and um, it really helped me to learn a lot more about the technical production side as well. Beyond just the editing of the episode, I was able to learn about what you need to get set up with equipment to record it, produce quality audio, and really make it a, a marketable product. And so that led into um, a desire to learn more about other uh, editing as well and towards the end of the semester for a different class I decided to try my hand using Adobe Premiere which uh, transferred the, auto edi the audio editing to video editing as well. And it was really interesting for me doing all that production and being able to uh, use that in a creative way. Especially since for both um, I was able to combine kind of the technological side and the English major side. And so moving forward um, Though I'm not quite sure what I hope to do with this yet, I do feel like it's going to be a very healthy outlet for me to experiment and grow and perhaps find a career uh, for the future even um, where I can use these skills that I learned and um, really keep progressing.